Hi, my name is Candy Zelenka. I'm a nurse anesthetist. I'm the owner and CEO of Certified CBD Coaching and Cells and Penguin City CBD. So since this is October and it's National Breast Care Awareness Month, uh, I thought that I'd do a, a small presentation on CBD's role with breast cancer. So new scientific reports show there is growing evidence to support CBD's role in breast cancer treatment. Conventional treatments include surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, all of which can cause side effects like nausea and vomiting, neuropathic pain, and depression. CBD can reduce these side effects. Uh, for nausea, CBD indirectly uh, interacts with the receptors in uh, the CBD or the CB1 receptors decreasing serotonin release. Serotonin is uh, a nausea-inducing neurotransmitter, so it reduces the release of serotonin, so therefore you get less nausea. For pain, CBD is renowned for reducing pain and inflammation uh, due to tumor, the tumor damaging nerve cells, and the radiation and chemotherapy can cause nerve pain. Uh, glycine receptors in central in the central nervous system play a role in how you perceive pain. Uh, CBD increases the effectiveness of the glycine receptors, thereby reducing the experience of neuropathic pain. For depression, CBD increases uh, the endocannabinoid anandamide, which is also known as the bliss molecule in the brain, which elevates mood and motivation. Uh, multiple studies have shown, um, have produced evidence that CBD oil preferentially kills breast cancer cells by encouraging apoptosis, which is cancer cell death, and autophagia, uh, which is disassembly and recycling of disease cells, all without harming healthy cells. It is a, a more targeted approach, whereas chemo and radiation therapy kill both good and bad cells. Another line of research shows that CBD oils uh, have an effect on angiogenesis, which is the development of new blood vessels, which uh, the tumor creates to increase its size and increase the spread, which is known as metastasis. CBD was found to inhibit this angiogenesis, thereby decreasing the tumor growth, and it also promotes the apoptosis, which is the cancer cell death. The study concluded that this dual effect on both tumor and the cells supports the hypothesis that CBD has potential as an effective agent in cancer treatment. Always consult your doctor before using CBD. And um, if you do decide to use CBD oil for, for breast cancer, you always wanna start low and go slow. Uh, CBD tincture and transdermal patches are probably the best, best methods of administration. Tinctures are dropped under the tongue. There's good dosage control. Uh, it is absorbed quickly from under the tongue because it does not go to the digestive system and have to go through liver metal metabolism, or it's called the first pass effect. Transdermal patches, uh, you have poor dosage control because you know, you're not sure exactly how much is getting into the bloodstream, but it is absorbed through the skin and does get into the bloodstream. It does take a while to take effect because of the absorption rate, uh, but it does provide long-lasting relief. Uh, vapes, edibles, and capsules may not be a good option uh, due to nausea. And again, you always want to consult with your doctor before starting a CBD regimen, and you, know, you never want to forego other treatments in lieu of just using CBD. So make sure that you consult your healthcare provider and best wishes. Thank you.